हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस एग्जांपल्स ऑन रेक्टिफिकेशन ऑफ कर्व्स गिवन बाय आर इज इक्वल टू एफ ऑफ थीटा सो लेट अस फर्स्ट रिकॉल द फॉर्मूला द लेंथ ऑफ द कर्व गिवन बाय द इक्वेशन आर इज इक्वल टू एफ ऑफ थीटा इज गिवन बाय एस इज इक्वल टू इंटीग्रल ऑफ स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ आर स्क्वायर प्लस डी आर बाय डी थीटा स्क्वायर डी थीटा ओवर द लिमिट थीटा वन टू थीटा टू now before proceeding for the examples i would like to discuss a shape called as cardioid cardioid comes in four equations namely r is equal to a into 1 minus cos theta a into 1 plus cos theta a into 1 minus sin theta and a into 1 plus sin theta cardioid is basically a apple shape figure cardioid of the equation r is equal to a into 1 minus cos theta is symmetric about x axis and points towards negative x axis similarly cardioid of equation r is equal to a into 1 plus cos theta is symmetric about x axis but this time it points towards positive x axis cardioid of the equation a into 1 minus sin theta is symmetric about y axis and points towards negative y and cardioid of the equation r is equal to a into 1 plus sin theta is symmetric about y axis and points towards positive y axis now let us see examples in this example we are asked to find perimeter of the cardioid r is equal to a into 1 minus cos theta and we are asked to prove that the line theta is equal to 2 pi by 3 bisects the upper half of the cardioid now let us first draw this cardioid and the line theta is equal to 2 pi by 3 this is how the cardioid r is equal to a into 1 minus cos theta can be drawn and the line 2 pi by 3 can be drawn like this now let us first find out dr by d theta so dr by d theta is a into 0 minus minus sin theta that is a sin theta now to find perimeter of this cardioid it is enough to find perimeter of the cardioid in upper half of the x axis because it is symmetric about x axis so length of the cardioid in upper half is given by s is equal to integral of under root r square plus dr by d theta square d theta over the limit 0 to pi now let us substitute values of r and dr by d theta r is a into 1 minus cos theta and dr by d theta is a sin theta so we have this statement now this a square and a square is common we can take it out of this under root and 1 minus cos theta square can be written as 1 minus 2 cos theta plus cos square theta and this sin square theta as it is so after taking out a square common we have 1 plus cos square theta plus sin square theta is 1 again so 1 plus 1 is 2 minus 2 cos theta as it is this 2 2 is also common we can take it out so we will be left with 1 minus cos theta which can be written as 2 sin square theta by 2 now this 2 into 2 is 4 and this 4 a square when goes out of the under root sign becomes 2a like this and under root of sin square theta by 2 is just sin theta by 2 now integral of sin theta by 2 d theta is minus cos theta by 2 upon 1 by 2 that upon 1 by 2 becomes 2 now let us take out this minus 2 and substitute these limits in theta so we have minus 4a outside cos pi by 2 is 0 minus substituting lower limit 0 in theta we have cos 0 which is 1 now minus into minus becomes plus so we have s is equal to 4a this is length of the cardioid in upper half so perimeter of the cardioid is twice this length so perimeter of the cardioid is 8a now let us prove 
that the line theta is equal to 2 pi by 3 bisects the upper half of the cardioid. That means we have to prove that length of the cardioid from this point to this point is 2a because length of the cardioid in the upper half is 4a. So let's prove this. Now let us recall that we have already simplified this integral and we saw that integrand after simplification is 2a sin theta by 2 d theta. Now since we have to find out length of the cardioid from this point to this point that is point theta is equal to 0 to theta is equal to 2 pi by 3 these limits will change to 0 to 2 pi by 3 like this. Now let us evaluate this integral and in that we will put these limits. 2a is constant we will keep it outside. Integral of sin theta by 2 is minus cos theta by 2 upon 1 by 2 that upon 1 by 2 can be written as 2. This minus 2 goes out becomes minus 4a and now after substituting 2 pi by 3 here in theta we have cos of pi by 3 and cos pi by 3 is half minus cos of 0 is 1. Half minus 1 is minus half minus half into minus 4a is just 2a. So we just proved that the line theta is equal to 2 pi by 3 bisects the cardioid in upper half. Hence proved. Now let's go ahead for next example. Here we are asked to find length of the cardioid r is equal to a into 1 minus cos theta lying outside the circle r is equal to a cos theta. Guys, we already know how to draw cardioid r is equal to a into 1 minus cos theta. Now let us understand how to draw circle r is equal to a cos theta. For that, I will multiply both sides of this equation by r. So we have r square is equal to a r cos theta. Now at this point, I would like to recall the relation between Cartesian and polar coordinates which is x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta. Therefore, x square plus y square is just r square. So we can replace this r square by x square plus y square and r cos theta by x. So we have equation of a circle x square plus y square is equal to ax. Now we recall equation of the circle given by x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. The center of this circle is given by coordinates minus g comma minus f and radius is given by under root of g square plus f square minus c. Now for finding center and radius of this circle we compare this circle's equation with this equation. We saw that g is minus a by 2 and f is 0. So after substituting values of g and f in these coordinates we see center of this circle is a by 2 comma 0 and radius is given by a by 2. Now let us draw these figures of cardioid and circle. This is how it will look like. We are asked to find length of this cardioid lying outside the circle. That means from this point to this point. And since this cardioid is symmetric about x axis, it is enough to find length of the cardioid from this point to pi. And then we will multiply it by 2. Now let us find out these points of intersections of circle and cardioid. To do so, we will substitute value of this r in the equation of circle into equation of cardioid. So we get a cos theta is equal to a into 1 minus cos theta. This a and this a will get cancelled. Now this minus cos theta when goes on the other side becomes plus cos theta. Cos theta plus cos theta is 2 cos theta is equal to 1. So cos theta is equal to half. So theta is equal to cos inverse of half. And we know that cos inverse of half is pi by 3 comma 5 pi by 3 etc etc. 
So at this point theta is pi by 3 and at this point theta is 5 pi by 3. So these are the points of intersection. Now we will find out length of the cardioid from theta is equal to pi by 3 to theta is equal to pi. So length of that cardioid will be given by formula integral of root of r square plus dr by d theta square d theta over the limit pi by 3 to pi two times. Now let's substitute for r and dr by d theta. Here r is a into 1 minus cos theta. So dr by d theta is a sin theta. Then after simplification, we get this as a square 1 minus cos theta square is 1 minus 2 cos theta plus cos square theta. This a square sin square theta as it is. This a square is and a square are common. So we get 1 minus cos theta plus cos square theta plus sin square theta. But cos square theta plus sin square theta is 1. So this 1 plus 1 becomes 2 minus 2 cos theta as it is. Once again, this 2 and this 2 are common. We can take it out. We will be left with 1 minus cos theta, which is nothing but 2 sin square theta by 2. Now this 2 and 2a square becomes 4a square. Let's carry forward these steps. Now under root of 4a square into sin square theta by 2 can be written as 2a sin theta by 2. This 2a is constant, we can take it out. So we have 4a outside and integral of sin theta by 2 is minus 2 cos theta by 2. Over the limits pi, pi 3, 2 pi. Now let us substitute these limits in theta. So we have minus 8a outside, cos pi by 2 is 0 and cos pi by 6 is root 3 by 2. So length of the cardioid outside the circle r is equal to a cos theta is 4a root 3. I hope guys you understood this example. Now let us go ahead for next one. Here we are asked to find length of the arc of the curve r is equal to a sin square theta by 2 from point theta is equal to 0 to any point theta is equal to theta 1. So let's calculate it. Here equation of the curve is r is equal to a into sin square theta by 2. So dr by d theta is a into 2 sin theta by 2 into cos theta by 2 into half. This 2 and this 2 will get cancelled. We will be left with a into sin theta by 2 into cos theta by 2. Now if we assume s is the length of the curve then s is given by integral of under root r square plus dr by d theta square d theta over the limit 0 to theta 1. Let us substitute values for r and dr by d theta. So we get this statement r square will be a square sin raised to 4 theta by 2 and dr by d theta square will be a square sin square theta by 2 into cos square theta by 2. This a square and this a square is common. Similarly, sin square and sin square theta by 2 can be taken out as a common term. So inside we will be left with sin square theta by 2 plus cos square theta by 2 which is nothing but 1. So we have integral of under root a square into sin square theta by 2 d theta which can be written as integral of a sin theta by 2 d theta. A is constant. So integral of sin theta by 2 can be written as minus cos theta by 2 upon half that is minus 2 cos theta by 2. Now let us substitute these limits in theta. We get minus 2a into cos of theta 1 by 2 minus cos of 0 which is 1. Using identity 1 minus cos alpha is equal to 2 sin square alpha by 2 we can write 1 minus cos theta 1 by 2 as 2 sin square 
theta 1 by 4. Finally, when we simplify this, we get 4a sin square theta 1 by 4. This is length of the given curve from theta is equal to 0 to theta is equal to theta 1. I hope guys you understood the concept and the examples that I have covered in this video. I'll be posting more such interesting videos. Till then, keep watching. Thank you all of you. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get updates about my new videos.